Hi, I'm Keith Appleton, the founder of Arrow Laser Shot. Now you probably know our laser shot that we've had on the market now for about uh, 12 years. It's good as we've sold about 15,000 of them worldwide. But there was two issues I had with this design. It was expensive. You had the 12, 20, 28 and 410. All those adapters were expensive. The other issue was changing those over with the manufacturing tolerances was not as accurate as I would have liked. Uh, but we know we're good um, because we've been copied and they're using our old technology. They're using the two things that I knew that was wrong and I wanted to change. It was expensive and, and less accurate than I would have liked. So I've now spent the last 18 months developing a new system, taking the good parts of the laser shot, replacing the bad parts of the laser shot to give us now the laser shot Mark II. And this is it. One adapter, but three silicon blades that you replace whichever gauge you're using. This now overlaps and goes from 410 right the way through to 10 gauge. One kit, one price. It comes with full instructions on gun fit, gun mount, gun swing. It gives you a, an indication of a bit of what might happen if you've got a master eye problem. To uh, make sure that the silicon opens up into the barrel in a uniform manner, we ask you to put a little bit of oil in there to stop the friction. With that in mind, we give you a little sachet of oil just to get you going. But now, let me show you how that works. The Laser Shot Mark II comes with a retaining screw in the end. When you replace the silicon blade, always make sure that you re make sure that the, the screw goes into the uh, the retaining screw goes into the end to make sure this does not stay in the barrel once you finish your practice. The screw's in there. Just screw it in, just, just nip it up. It doesn't have to be tight. It's just only there to keep the silicon in on the end of the spindle and not in your barrel. So that's it. It's got a cable with a finger ring that goes onto your trigger finger and that's it. But it's very, very accurate and a very good price. First of all, for this to work, just make sure, I'm just going to use um, a bit of spray oil rather than opening up the sachet, so we just put a bit, that's all you need to do. Just take it now and put it onto your hand, just put it into the barrel, just twist it, leave the, the lead out at 90 degrees, it goes into the, we're putting it into the top barrel but you can put it into the bottom barrel as well. Once it goes past the choke and you can feel it easing off, just turn it 90 degrees. Now that is centred into the barrel, with your fingertip just push it in. Hear that nice click, now that's centred. Centred into the barrel, centred into the choke. Fingering goes round onto your trigger finger and it's ready to go. But now let me show you what you can really do with the Laser Shot Mark II to help improve your shooting. Okay, it's into the Laser Shot Mark II is into the barrel. Let's show you first of all what you can do with it. Right, first of all, check the gun fit. But as you all know, you can't get a good gun fit unless you've got a good gun mount. So I've just put myself into a good gun mount. What I'm going to be doing is firing up onto the little pattern plate up onto the corner there, just to see where this gun's firing for me and is it fitted. Yeah, just above the center, just where I want it to be. I'm seeing the, the laser on top of the bead on front of the gun. So okay, now I know that gun's fitted to me. But now it's my gun mount. This is the thing, the biggest thing after gun fit that is gonna win or lose your birds is the accuracy and the solidity of your gun mount. So let's just give that a try. So each time it goes into my shoulder, I'm firing. Yep. So anything I do wrong, I can practice and correct. If suddenly I just take a bad shot, go off over to the right. That was a one-off. Okay, let's just keep on going. Right, this is just to show you where you're shooting and where you're going wrong. It's not there to criticise you. If you make a mistake, it goes in your shoulder. And we've all had that when it feels just wrong. Pull the trigger and you could see that I just pulled the trigger and it was on. It was wrong. But just practice. 
But if your gun mount is like this, that is a very, very poor gun mount. Obviously I exaggerated that, but there's a lot of people that would put this gun mount and then come back onto the target. They're just wasting their time and losing the time on the bird. So what we can do with the laser shot, put it down here. Now you can see that is pointing down onto the grass there. What we need to do is do that nice parallel mount. So straight into the shoulder, bang. Bang. We're just getting more control of the gun. And we can see that because we've got the laser shot in there. Now if you're practicing, and this is how you would do it, with the laser shot, put it, and you're just doing this. It's all over the place. At this stage, it's probably worse than no practice at all. Because you're building up the wrong sight picture and you're building up the wrong muscle memory. Now to use the laser shot, it doesn't take long to get good. You can practice you know, a few minutes and you say, oh, I'm, I'm improved greatly already. But it just takes that three to five minutes a day, maybe four or five times a week, just to practice, just to keep you on top of your game. So that's it. Now we can just keep on practicing, practicing. Anything we're doing wrong, we can start improving. And we can see ourselves improving. Continually improvement. But now that's, that's for gun mount. That's just for static gun mount. What we can also do with the, with the laser shot is then to start doing the gun swing with this. So now across the top of the, um, the backdrop we've got there on the skeet layout, I'm going to be taking from the left going to the right and just see how my gun, gun swing is. Okay, not too bad. Also you can do on the corner of the wall. You can go from the top right the way down to the bottom and the bottom up to the top. You can pick out any straight line and start following it. Improving your gun swing all the time. So now with the laser shot we've covered the, we've got a good gun fit. Our gun mount's improving. Our gun swing's improving. So it's good. But now what we can do, we can take it further with laser shot. Now what we can do, we can take that, and nobody practices, we can take that second shot off balance. So now see how that feels and how, how our mount reacts to that off balance shot. So I'll take it as a right handed shooter, I'm now going to take that the pattern plate over there with my same gun mount and just see how good I am with that. Okay, well it's not too bad. But, <clears throat> try it for yourself. Now I've had a lot of practice with this so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be maybe a little bit better. But for, it's the gun swing. Now we'll do exactly the same, go across the top of that skeet layout banner there and just see how much effort it takes to keep straight. I won't do it this time, I'll just show you what it would be like. So I'm taking it, right, now it's going across, okay. And you can see that, and that was no exaggeration, that is what it would be like if you were shooting on, on, out in the, on the ground. Whether you shoot clays or you shoot driven or you're sporting or whatever, that still takes the same effect. Now you can practice with it though. You can practice and practice and practice. I'll do the same thing again. What you're doing is now taking that left hand from the left hand side again. Now we're going across, but you can now feel how much effort that left arm has to do to actually keep it in line on that trajectory. And all we're doing with this, really, is we're eliminating the things that you can do wrong. First of all, we know that your gun fits right, because we've checked it. You know that your gun, gun mount is improving, because we can see that. You know that your gun swing is, is starting to improve as well, even off balance, taking that second shot. So if you keep going with that trajectory, the only thing you can do is miss in front or behind. All the rest, we've taken it into our brain and we've said, right, we're doing that right. So all you've got to do now is give it the right lead, because you can only be front or behind. You can't be above or below, because we've checked our swing. We're just getting rid of those elements that put, put doubt in your mind as to where I'm shooting. So, give it a try. Thanks for watching, and watch our other video clips on gun fit, gun mount, gun swing, and one on master eye to help you. So good shooting.